being a scientist, we should be fearless. We should not be afraid. We are always on the frontier to discover unknown. And if you are always hold back by your fear, and how can you make new things and make new discoveries? My name is Meng Wang. I'm currently an associate professor at Baylor College of Medicine. My main research focus is on aging biology, why some people age much better than other people. Between 2014 and 2050, the percentage of the population at age 60 and above will be doubled from 11 to 22 percent. Aging is a major risk factor for many chronic and degenerative diseases like you know, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disorders, and cancer. Ming is a bright, wonderful, passionate scientist. Her curiosity tends to be about problems that are really important for general health. In elementary school, I realized my dad looked much younger than his real age. My dad, uh, at that time, worked in a city quite far away. And so, you know, when he came back to home, he liked to pick me up at school. But people don't see him very often, right? So every time they say, oh, your big brother is here, kind of make me always wonder what the magic. My grandma is that the same way. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away a few years ago when she was 100 years old, but with no dementia, no chronic diseases. That's my main inspiration to be a scientist. We are investigating new natural compound that we can use to promote longevity, not uh, necessarily lifespan extension, but more importantly, health span extension. She's always been interested in healthy aging and interested in understanding how metabolism and various cellular functions affect that. One area we are very interested in is metabolic product. They are the natural compound that existing in our body. We think they are the natural compound that we can use to boost our health. We have been developing a lot of new technology platforms to visualize those molecules in live cells, in live organisms. Having been trained in wonderful lab that studies the worm C. elegans, she found a great opportunity now to address questions she's passionate about. We are using really cutting edge technologies using C. elegans as model organism. We are one of the few biology labs uh, that are using this technology. She teaches us a lot about how to do good science. I try to give them space and then uh, importantly protect their scientific curiosity. She doesn't tell us exactly what to do, but if we're deviating, she gently nudges us along in the right direction. Personally, I don't have a desire to live to what, 300 years, but I really want my later life can be like my grandma's, you know, active, healthy, independent, and meaningful.